In this video, I'm going to show you how to use structured logging uh, in your application. And for this, I'll be using uh, a utility called as Serilog. So using Serilog, you can do logging in a more efficient manner and uh, something which can be searched easily and analyzed easily. Uh, those kind of files can be created uh, using Serilog. You can also log to the uh, debug console, which is your output window in Visual Studio. So you can also uh, log the information uh, to that output uh, window. You can log different kinds of things like uh, warnings, errors, uh, information, you know, those kind of different levels are there. You can do that. Uh, it is very it is uh, very flexible configurable uh, and uh, it as i said it allows you to uh, search and analyze data easily you can save it uh, uh, in a json format uh, to a file you can also save it to database uh, and uh, uh, you know run queries on that so i have created a asp.net web api project here uh, i am using dotnet 8 but you can use any versions and it will work if you want to uh, add serial log first of all you need to add a nuget package so for that uh, go to your solution explorer so right click your project and go to manage nuget packages go to browse and here search for serilog so here you can see there are different uh, kind of packages available so you have to select ASP.NET core so select this and click on install now the package has been successfully installed so go to program.cs add a using statement here using serilog now you can implement serilog uh, directly by hard coding uh, the settings here in the program.cs or you can use a configuration file as well. So let's first uh, try to hard code the values and see uh, how you can log using these hard coded values. So at this line of code, you can see here I am saying that write to the debug console and the minimum level should be information. Now there are different levels of uh, uh, there are different levels which you can use uh, when you are uh, writing or even when we are logging anything here you can see the minimum level is that the the lowest level is the verbose and then debug then information warning error fatal so if you are saying that the minimum level is information then anything above information will be including information will be logged so if i am saying uh, log dot warning then warning will be visible in my log files if i'm saying error it will be visible in the log files but if i'm saying debug then it will not be visible in the log files now these are different methods so as you can see here now minimum level dot information uh, is mentioned here so it means if i am using uh, the the warning method or the information method of the log object then those things will be visible to me in the debug window so let's now go to weather forecast controller and add uh, a logging information there so you need to add, add using uh, seri log here and then a log object will be available to you so access that object and dot and you can see here debug warning all this information all these methods are available so i am searching for information and then i'll be adding information start of the method and now let's run it so now my web api is running so let's execute it try it out and execute let's go to output window here you can see this method method start of the method uh, this uh, text is logged so you can see inf means information if it is an error then it will be err so like this uh, so like this you can do logging uh, in the output window let's now use a different approach instead of this i'll be using a configuration file to do the logging so let's replace this with this code here which means configuration.read from configuration file context.configuration so now we have to add this configuration in configuration information to the app settings so go here to the app settings now replace this code and then let's go to now let's go to this app settings.development.json and also replace this code let's go through this settings and understand what it is so here you can see so this is the top level object serilog and then we are saying that we can use either console or the file so we can log to both these things console or file now the minimum level is information you can as i said you can log anything above information so if you want to uh, if it is a production environment then it will be better to set it to warning or to error 
now doesn't matter what in what you what you set here it will always be overridden by this settings here if this is a microsoft generated warning or a system generated warning it will always be logged so that is what uh, this is saying here and then there's a write to so you can write to console which we have shown here and you can also write to file and when you are writing to file you have these additional arguments you can set the path so right now it will create a logs folder inside this uh, inside this project so wherever this application is running within that particular folder it will create a logs folder uh, rolling interval is day which means every day a new file will be created and here restricted to minimum level is again information now here you can again override the settings which is provided here you can override it here if i want to do it like error then information will not be logged to the files so i can say like this and when i do this so uh, although to the console i can log anything uh, information and anything above it but when i go to files i will not be able to see anything that is information so i can only see the errors and then we have the formatter here so i'll be using a json formatter now it has different types of json formatters uh, right now it has three types of json formatters and then you can also use a text formatter uh, but json formatter has the uh, is the default one you have the enrich property here and then enrich uh, property means uh, the, the context object the machine name or the thread id will be used to enrich the uh, logging information so that's all about these settings uh, now let's see how it works so now we are back to the weather forecast controller now let's see after changing the settings to uh, the configuration uh, object let's see if we can again uh, this log this information so let's stop this and run it again so you can see start of the method so this text is coming up here which means our logging is working now let's go to the log file and see if it is also getting logged there so you can see there is no log folder yet created now the reason being we have set the minimum level to error here so that is why it is not logging anything so in order for uh, this to log something to the file we have to set this to information now let's run it again execute and you can see a logs folder has been created with a file inside it and a date is mentioned here log hyphen the date so here you can see the information has been uh, posted here so timestamp level message template trace id span id and all this information has been posted right now let's try to add some error information so for that i have to update this code a bit so let's create a variable and say data equal to this and then return data let's now add a try catch and exception let's now add this line of code here where i'm saying it is a custom failure and the request name is a get method we can say get weather forecast method uh, we are passing the exception, exception object here which is basically which will be displayed here at error and then the date time today's date time so here i am returning uh, the data but it is throwing an error because it has to be nullable now we have to add some code here which is to throw an exception so throw new exception and let's pass some information not a valid 
exception. Right. So when this line is in encountered, so the controller will move to the catch and this should be logged in our file and also in the output. Let's now run it again. Try it out, execute. Let's first go to the output. And here you can see custom failure, get weather forecast method. So not a valid exception, data in exception, all these things are coming up here. Now let's go to the log file and see. So first we have to stop it. And you can see this uh, new line of code here in the bottom, which is saying error. Level, message template, custom failure, and all this information is coming up here. Now you can see I have copied the error that I was showing you in Visual Studio to this tool here and you can see the structured uh, structured data on the right hand side. So this is the power of this uh, seri log where you can see this data nicely organized in JSON format and in all this key value pair where you can see all these different properties and uh, which is highly configurable and uh, it will help allow you to you know debug your application. Uh, that's all about using seri log uh, in your application in your a web application like ASP.NET MVC or Web API. So you can uh, follow the same method, same pattern, whether it is a desktop application, uh, you know, you can use the same logic and whatever I have shown you, it will work in all these different kind of applications. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you are interested to know how to create a Web API and how to interact with database or how to create an ASP.NET MVC application, then watch my videos. It will appear on your screen now. Hope you have a good time. Enjoy your day. Thank you.